Hey everybody, it's Physical Friday and we are counting down the days for the 10,000 push-up challenge. We're here right here at Hawks K Resort looking at this beautiful water right here and that's what the 10,000 push-up challenge is all about this year. It's all about raising awareness for Captains for Clean Water and the good work that they're doing and getting other people to know about that so when it's time to mobilize, we can do that and we can take action and make a big difference. That's what we're doing with the 10,000 push-up challenge this year. You can do it as an individual or you can do it as a team of any size. So it's all about participation. Go to TomRollandPodcast.com and sign up your whole team right there. We're gonna be glad to have you. Other people might be thinking about doing this next year. And maybe you, maybe you feel like you're not ready this year or, or whatever. Whether you're getting ready for next year or whether you're, you're getting ready to do the 10,000 push-ups, you're probably doing a lot of different kinds of push-ups right now. That's what we're gonna talk about today on Physical Friday are many different variations of push-ups. Now, if you're doing all of your push-ups in a standard way, either with your elbows close to the body or the elbows flared out, when you're doing the 10,000 push-up challenge, you may encounter some aches, pains, soreness, and you may want to try to do your push-ups differently. So we're gonna show you a couple of different uh, styles of push-ups that you can try, but also we're gonna go into something that I just learned this week when I had a great opportunity to spend the day with Diamond Dallas Page, professional wrestler. He's also the inventor and creator of DDP Yoga, and he showed me a push-up workout that we're gonna do together here in just a second. But I just wanna kinda go over just your regular push-up position. As I'm in a plank position and I go down, my elbows will flare out until I hit the, hit the ground and I will come up like that. That is your standard push-up. I can also keep my elbows close into my body and do push-ups like this. Okay, so as my elbows are staying close into the body and you can do any sort of of hybrid from those two positions. So if you're getting really sore, you can uh, alter your push-up style and you may be able to get your 350 push-ups in the next day. Or maybe you do that for a week and alternate the different styles of push-ups. Now, for the push-up workout that we're gonna do this week, the reps are gonna surprise you. We're gonna do five reps, okay? five push-ups. It doesn't sound very hard, but when you do them the way that Diamond Dallas Page is doing them, they are challenging. And this may not be the style that you want to do for the 10,000 push-up challenge because you're only going to get five and it's going to be very challenging. But this is a great way to get stronger throughout your push-up position and to use these type of push-ups as well as all of the different styles, the diamond push-up, the flared elbows, the elbows close in, extended push-ups, all the different types of push-ups, you can get stronger in different ways by using different hand positions and different styles of push-ups. Now this push-up that we're gonna do, that's the DDP yoga push-up, this is called um, a 10 second push-up. It's actually a 30 second push-up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start in a in a plank position. So the plank position, I'm on my hands in, this, in the up push-up position, and we're going to start, and we're going to have, we're gonna go down on a 10 count. So down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, so that's one, that's one rep. And what we did, if you're just listening to this, we're in the plank push-up position. For on the first 10 count, we're lowering down for 10 seconds. Then at the bottom of the push-ups, we're gonna hold about an inch off the ground for 10 seconds. And then we're gonna come up and it's gonna take us 10 seconds. So that's 30 seconds total. Do that five times. I think it'll surprise you how difficult it is. And it will also give you a different stimulus 
You're also stretching. This is a good way to get rid of soreness after you've been doing a ton of push-ups, and a good way to get stronger in this position and stronger throughout your push-ups by doing them very, very, very slowly and holding both at the top and the bottom. All right, that's the DDP Yoga Push-Up. Stand by for an awesome podcast with Diamond Dallas Page himself and some videos of me doing DDP Yoga with him. All right, we'll see you next week on Physical Friday.